Well, whatever you heard at the beginning, hi, welcome to Fight Net Radio. Andrew Labache, Lee Hanish, that's me. That's him on the other line. That's Andrew. Say hi, Andrew. Hey, how's it going, people? No, say hi, Andrew. Oh, hi, Andrew. Thank you. God, what? I hand you a softball like that. Ah, yeah, yeah. You don't connect with the. I did sarcasm in the car today, and I was so disappointed when my sarcasm was w met with, are you just being sarcastic? I said, a good partner would hear good quality sarcasm and then be sarcastic back if it's good sarcasm. To which I was responded with, that's why you talk to Andrew. I said, okay. <laughs> Uh, welcome to the Mario Sarcastic Show on professional boxing, sports, media, whatever. If we have time, maybe we'll even throw in one bonus round of uh, Stump the TMZ. My favorite segment that we haven't done in a long time, which is I read Andrew current event TMZ sports stories or stories and get his take as a regular blue collar guy <laughs> on people like Ariana Grande all the way to Mike Tyson. It's a brilliant show. I should probably do more of it. Uh, if you're listening to the podcast, it may get a little in, uh, irritating. I'll say this at the very beginning. I'm going to reintroduce some of the segments because I'll cut them up as videos. Some of you are watching this as a video. And I would say this. Fucking go download the, get the podcast. Get the broadcast. I just found out we're on Player FM and we're named one of the top fighting programs on Player FM. We're all over the place. Uh, we also received news today. I'll bring this up because it's in my mailbox still. I don't know. Uh, it's not in this mailbox. Uh, last month, I'll just read it. I'll actually post it on our timeline. But uh, did I send it to you? For the last 30 days, FightNet Radio on Facebook, your post reached 4.3 million people. You had a 2.5 million in engagement. We had another 3,500 likes. I guess we're trending in the right direction, Andrew. Yes, sir. I'll just say that out loud. So if you're a potential sponsor and you're interested in Fight Net Radio, we were going to talk about a new sponsor today who doesn't know they're about to become a sponsor just so Andrew can get free drinks. But um, we don't <laughs> think they're showing the fight. So they got to wait. Big Heidi Ho to them. <laughs> they got they got to wait. They got to show some boxing. You got to wait. You got to put the the right fight on, bro. What are, what are you doing? You're not you're not doing the ESPN pay-per-view. Uh, with all that said, for the regulars, we appreciate you. I'm actually going to change this uh, on the front of the screen. We bumped up another million. Uh, I think we finally capped out at another million five. So I'll change it out to an uh, 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 another 11 million. I know one. many of you are wondering, what made Fight Net Radio blow up after the last 30 days? One name, Ravello. Yes. Ravello. Remember the name Ravello. And I'd like to I, thank you I, personally. I guess we should tell girls if they want to send us videos, we can get them 4. <laughs> million views, Lee. You should have that on the list. Well, here's the really <laughs> ridiculous part of, okay, I'm going to, I'll show all this. Look, this is behind the scenes stuff. You really should see the video. If you want the video, go to YouTube or Facebook, watch the whole show or watch the individual parts. This won't be a part. This is just for the people who watch the whole, whole show. But um, I know what people trend and what they want, what they're into. Uh, the reason I like Facebook specifically, for those of you who don't know, my day job as many people in boxing who cover boxing have a day job. And I know it appears that I don't have a day job, but I do. Um, I'm a professional marketing and content guy, right? So Facebook specifically, the demographics are generally about age 30, 35 and up. So for boxing, Facebook is the ideal location in general. For, I'll say this for football and for, and for uh, boxing specifically, uh, Facebook is probably the ideal platform because of the demographics, right? I, I'm kind of working on this right now uh, where I want to start capturing content and doing content for 30 to 54-year-old. I think that's the sweet spot. Fuck the millennial, well, whatever below a millennial is. I don't know what you call 20 to 30-year-olds, but they all have beards. They all drink craft brewed beers. I don't <laughs> like any of them. And if you listen to the show and you fall into that category, Go watch the UFC. What the fuck are you doing? 
<laughs> Did I nail it? Yes, sir. Yes, How many sir. do you have on the job site? How many of those guys uh, do you work with? Mm. With beards that you can't understand. Why? What the fuck is your beard, bro? And this is coming from a guy with a goatee. Um, <laughs> but uh, we've been working on our video posting and things of that nature. And if you're watching the video right now, um, we uh, I'm just I'm completely intrigued with what hits and what doesn't. Right. The Revolo did three point four. Uh, the fact that it might have been a conspiracy did 2,500 views, which, by the way, on average, if you look at Instagram, I, I did all the comparisons. The average top videos in boxing, when they're an average story, do between one and 5,000 hits or views, right? So uh, the way we structure our stuff, I'm trying to get about 1,000 views per pop or more. Some go viral, some don't. And these are just our last, what, 12 videos? Uh, so between all of them, they total out to about four million between all of them. The pull up sex tape, no matter how many times I restart it, doesn't seem to do what the initial one did. This one truly went viral. And then there are some weird ones further down the line. Now, the reason I'm telling you guys all of this shit, I've been trying to work out what makes you boxing fans actually watch videos. So I've been experimenting with like Shakur Stevenson brawl videos. You guys were kind of into it. Um, nobody seems to give a shit about Deontay. By the way, these were all placed into the same groups with the same formula that I do with pretty much all forms of media for boxing. And of these last 12 videos, man, you guys just fucking love the sex video and WWE. Go figure. I, I, I don't know what that's about. And then there's shit you don't give a shit about. Apparently you don't give a shit about Crawford and Khan. Uh, but that's only been 24 hours. I'm not really giving it a fair shot. You didn't really care that much about Lomachenko Corolla. So I, as a broadcaster who creates content with my good friend, Andrew Labache, I can see what you guys like. Then I can look at the titles of the show and which ones you guys listen to and that have the higher numbers and then figure out from there what you guys click and listen to. And from all of that, the reason you listen to the show you listen to that's a long explanation to get to. The reason you guys listen to the show that you listen to is because I pay attention to what you guys seem to be interested in. And mostly over the last couple of weeks, you seem to care about sex, drugs, and boobies. I mean, <laughs> that's occasionally some brawl. A remarkably high number of WWE fans was interesting to me, Andrew. That, that was some interesting data. These videos aren't that long. Floyd got a little bit of pop. I mean, if this actually... If I keep redoing the formula to this one, I think Floyd's announcement might have some legs. Um, and I also think Crawford Con betting, not a good title, bro. Sorry. Who the fuck cares about the betting on that actually, fight? Which, our which, betting shows do what you got, really Lee? well historically, which, dude. Which I know, but this fight, bro. No one's, dude, there's people online going, I'm not buying it because I know how it's ending. That's actually being said today. Um, well, I, I, I get that. I mean, much so like the Max I mean, Kellerman fart fight. episode. It's pretty close to the Max Kellerman fart episode. By the way, let's talk about that. I haven't put the formula on this yet because I can do it next week when I'm bored on a Wednesday and put it in all the rooms to see if anyone's interested. I don't think anybody gives a shit about Max Kellerman. I mean, we have, I don't know, 10,000 followers or whatever it is on our pages. Probably have a 20,000 normal exposure stream again sponsors pay attention highest uh listener rate of any show out there and this isn't like those bullshit oh, our exposure numbers one million all right fucks i'm on itunes that means my exposure ratio is like 20 million go fuck yourself i've googled other shows they don't even have the google research we do um <laughs> sorry just saying that for potential sponsors i'm gonna cut this up and send it off to all our sponsors andrew <laughs> We're the most aggressive marketers out there, for God's sakes. <sighs> Damn it. I can tell you all kinds of shit. Why am Is I doing a, Vince McMahon? Are we doing a show or a commercial? We're doing the WWE today, Andrew. <laughs> Your new character is Vince McMahon. <laughs> the betting. Do you even yeah. know Vince McMahon's voice? Yeah, I do. I can't do it. But yeah, I know. come on, dude. I watched it. Andrew, we need characters. 
monsters on this show. We need like a dumpster guy and a clown. How'd I do? Very nice. I think I need to get a real bullhorn. I think it would be better if I had a real <laughs> megaphone instead of the $5 toy that I've invested into for the show. <laughs> but I digress. That's a little behind the scenes. That's a BTS. You know what a BTS is, Andrew? Mm, sort of scenes. what you just said. <laughs> there you go. Good job. Good job, pal. Good job. <laughs> Yay. Go to fightnetradio.com. Check out our page. Oh, it's the first thing in my feed. We'll come back to it. Should we do it now? I mean, I can't even. Like, now he's doing the farewell tour. <laughs> Well, I mean, man, he's how many, fucked up. So, all right, let's just start right how many here. Tests are, hey, Let me how reintroduce many... the show. By the way, this is the part where I knew it would get uh, irritating for the podcast broadcast listeners. Hi, Lee Hanish, Andrew Labashay, Fight Net Radio. We're jumping right in. Jarrell, big baby Miller fails not one, not two, Andrew. <laughs> Three epic drug tests. In fact, when you Google this dipshit's name, he has done it. He has hit the trifecta of fucking up. <laughs> My window's open. Brown. The kids are in the yard next door. <laughs> this is the trifecta. This is the trifecta of screwing <laughs> up, Andrew. Like, I have never seen. I've literally. All right. Yeah, you're right. I'm no, gonna, you're wait, right. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to date this. All right, I'm going to be old right here. So I was born in 68. Yes, I'm 51. And I realize there are listeners who are older than me. Calm down. We didn't really start paying attention to drugs till around the 80s and the 90s when the Russians got involved. So the first real fight where I was aware of it probably weren't until the 90s, maybe? What, Vada doesn't come in until about the 2000s, right? So modern-day yeah. drug testing doesn't really happen except for, like, the last 19 years. That's my guess. I mean, if I guess on Vada, they're going to probably say, we've been around since 1976. Vada history. How long has Vada been around? Shit on. <laughs> Probably right. right. <laughs> Vada Vada's been around since the dawn of time. We have been drug testing <laughs> athletes since. No, remember Victor Conte said it was real easy to get away with. It was only a urine before Lee. It was only urine. Now they do what is it? Blood. Yeah, but I feel like Vada the Vada the voluntary anti doping organization has only been around for. Of course, what? it came in with Floyd. Remember Floyd made the USADA or whatever? What did Floyd yeah. made? He made it, he made some whack ass one that was giving him the schedule of when they were gonna do the testing, so he never got popped. Mm -hmm. It was a great method by Start Mayweather. Drug Mayweather testing. said he was cleaning the sport up while getting the schedule to the drug testing. It's awesome. That is an awesome. Okay. Who was the first? <laughs> oh, you don't want to run with that one up. Huh? Hold on, Andrew. We're gonna learn a fact on this show. It's oh, just okay. Here we go. Bing. His name was Hans Gunner. Oh, what a fucking Olympic surprise. He athlete to test positive for the use of performance enhancing. 1968, Andrew, the year I was born. So in 51 <laughs> years of guys getting tested for drugs, congratulations. Yes. Andrew, the trifecta. Jarrell Miller didn't test positive for one drug. He didn't test positive for two drugs. Three different samples. Three different drugs. They literally told him his penis would not work after the shot, Lee, and he still did it. He went for them all. Holy shit. It's reported everywhere. He's failed <laughs> multiple deaths. Uh, this coming to us from CBS Boxing. His, his balls just uh, I won't. I won't give CBS Boxing the time of day. Fuck them. Um, <laughs> sorry. For those of you who don't know, fuck CBS. Uh, that's a long now you know time. why he wears those little skirts, <laughs> those little shorts into the no ring. No kidding, right? Let's go back to this story because now we're now we're now we're a few minutes into the last fail test. Like, literally, I've watched it on the timeline. For those of you who don't know, based on my day job, I watch the news all day long in real time, so I'm aware of stuff in real time. And this is one of the cases I've watched in real time, Andrew. This is literally from 15 minutes ago. Jarrell is posted a comment he Jarrell, made baby him. miller was supposed to face wba ibf wbo heavyweight title holder anthony joshua june 1st madison square gardens three days ago he failed a vada drug test coming up positive for gw156 great episode go listen to yesterday's episode i will soon be taking it um new york immediately denied him a license to fight and promoter eddie hearn already started searching for an opponent 
we broke it here first. We believe it'll be Michael Hunter. I'm just saying it again so that on Monday, when you guys hear Michael Hunter, I can go, Andrew Labashev, people. Yesterday, he denied wrongdoing, saying, I didn't do no banned substance in a post that has since been deleted because you were guilty. Um, today, it was revealed that he'd had a failed second drug test for HGH. Wow. And then a third test for EPO. Woo. <laughs> the trifecta, bro. Do you even want, him to, a, you even so, want him to continue? I, I just feel like it's going to be cocaine next, right? Like, fuck, his 420 came why back not? for cocaine. <laughs> why not? Why not? Oh, I took a fourth test just to throw in another cocktail of drugs. So this nitwit, for those of you who weren't here for the GW1516 episode, we did a complete breakdown of the drug, right? So HGH is human, human growth hormone. So here's what this dude was taking a cocktail of, everyone. 1516, as we learn, is basically a horse stimulant. Makes you which Superman. I've, which I've ordered seven hundred and sixty dollars of it <laughs> live on the show, that I'm going to start injecting into my ass so I can go run at Santa Anita. <laughs> Aren't you glad you did this show now, Andrew? Like, just went into overdrive right out of the gate. Ew. EW one five one six is a horse drug that is completely legal in horse racing, according to what we read. Uh, it lowers the heart rate so that you can work out longer and it doesn't seem to have any of the weird steroid side effects. Andrew and I were pretty, but well, I was okay with it for my workouts. Andrew just really laughs at me a lot, but you know, Andrew drinks and I don't. So these are my drugs. Um, HGH, for those of you who don't know, is human growth hormone. We don't have to look this one up, Andrew. Um, we've ordered this shit on the show too for me to take. I'm a little disappointed in this drug particularly. You actually have to work out. But if I were, uh, it increases muscle mass and recovery time. That's what human growth hormone is really good for. Uh, so if I'm taking GW15, forget the EPO, we'll get to that in a minute. If I'm taking GW1516, I can extend my workout, lower my heart rate, increase my endurance, cut my fat. Now I'm taking in, HGH yeah, and insane to energy. my muscle mass. Yeah, and insane energy. Remember that other one, insane oh energy. Oh, my God. He's Brock Lesnar in a yeah, nutshell. He should be. He should be. Why is he eating so much? This man, he should. Oh, he's a fucking fat pig, right? He's, I know. He should look like Arnold, right? He, I mean, what? The, where's all this, <laughs> this doping going in his body? Yeah, he's big, but he doesn't look this list big. Lee, the list is so bad, it's almost not real. Every Wait, test is a different Andrew, drug. Maybe I'm wrong, all right? Let's find out about our new drug today on this show. EPO. For those of you, this show is designed to be educational as well. Today, we're going to find out about EPO. For those of you who don't know, it's a big word called erythropoietin. <laughs> I really butcher these names. EPO is a hormone that's produced by the kidney. EPO promotes the formation of red blood cells in bone marrow. Wow, this is already bad. It's going down a bad road real fast. EPO hormone levels can be detected and measured in the blood. Measurement of the blood EPO level can be used to detect certain medical conditions. Yeah, 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 yeah. Why do athletes take EPO? Why do athletes... Is it a cover? Take EPO. Let's find out, Andrew. I'm interested. Why do athletes take EPO? Right here from the BBC. They're all over it. Uh, what is EPO? We already did that part. However, uh -oh. the hormone can be artificially produced to, to improve the performance of, for example, the athletes or cyclists by injection. It's an injectable. Yay. You know how much I like injectables on this show. Why would athletes do this? It is the overall effect is to increase endurance. Again, with the endurance shit. You and fat in athletics, ass. it's used to maintain by long distance See how lazy runners. he was? See how lazy he was, Lee? He takes everything. Hold on, to I got to him... order some EPO online. Oh, yeah, yeah. Don't be lazy, fat boy order Miller. EPO online. <laughs> Came right up as a search. There it is. I want injectable to go along with my horse drink. This is fucking terrible. Why is everything online? <laughs> <laughs> right? Oh, you can get it for horses. Horse. It's another fucking horse yes. thing. There we go. I'll just order some from my horse. 
There it is. EPO. My horse. <laughs> so I spent seven hundred and sixty dollars the other day on my horse stuff. I'm gonna get myself a multi dose of five hundred milligrams. I'm gonna add that to my cart. If you weren't here last week, I did it. I just did it a day ago. Don't don't get me started. It's in my cart right now. Where's my little checkout thing? Uh, where's my cart? I don't like their website. I said add to my cart. I want that one. Add. You're gonna make me or, like log into the account. Yeah, before you, you gotta log. Yeah, I think so. You know, when you're about to spend, I don't know, another seven hundred dollars on EPO. Look at this stuff, dude. You're fucking. Your cats are gonna stuff. be fucking awesome, dude. You keep. Look at this. Oh, uh, my coach is gonna know. But, no, I said your cats. <laughs> yeah, no. Your cats are going to be the kings of the block. You keep feeding them this stuff. <laughs> yeah, that's why we're doing Let me do my cats, air quote. <laughs> oh, we also got to order some HGH. Order HGH online. Uh, and we want the injectable stuff, right? Mm-hmm. I got to test all this out. If I can eat a pie, there you go. <laughs> You can order everything, and it's another pet store. It's dude. a fucking yeah, it's, it's a damn pet horse. Store. I so think we I, have a. I think we found the loophole. They keep masking it as horse uh, medications. We got to see how much of this shit is really being given to horses. Genfin uh, injection. I know you can. I know I can go down to TJ, you, but they they complain that the stuff in TJ is from China. <laughs> It is in high quality HGH. This is gonna be one of those things you go to a pet store and all there is is athletes coming in buying that box. <laughs> well, yeah, I knew. There's, there's well, not actually, one horse I knew this owner. For a fact. They're all. Yeah, I, <laughs> they're all. Where is there a horse owner in fucking now, Oakland, California? Buy HGH online, Andrew. There it is. Yeah. Injectable. I will now. say, Lee. I will say you're you're around fourteen hundred right now. Fifteen hundred if it was seven ninety nine, right? Um, two grand was, to make it, five million. And make, this that's no right. Burner. That's right. Four point eight million. All right, that's you need right. to make a phone call right now, Andrew. You need to make a phone call right now <laughs> before they call for their next opponent on Monday. Look, I personally think he should fight Shannon Briggs, and they will literally fill Madison Square Gardens. Like Shannon will do it by himself. That's who I think should be next for him. But oh. This could get expensive. I say we go out and buy eight thousand dollars worth. What do you think? Damn. Just, just for the sake of the show, Andrew. Hey, yay, yay. If it's a tax write-off, nope, it's now, not. For the uh, long-time listeners going, Lee, did you win the lottery? No, I did not. I did not. But hey, eight thousand plus another thousand for the, yeah. the other drugs, plus another thousand for the other horse drugs. All right, so I'm nine grand in, Andrew. I'm willing to take the fight for a million. Short notice. I got yeah. six weeks to train in all the drugs. No testing. I don't want any of that Vada stuff because clearly that screws it all up. <laughs> but I'm pretty sure I could show up ripped and torn up at a good 220 for Joshua. I'm 6'2". I come in ripped and looking like a thoroughbred ready to run at Santa Anita over six weeks, Andrew. <laughs> With my head shaved, you know, it's it's like Digstown. I'm ready to go. I'm ready to go, bro. Digstown reference. Yeah, that just happened on Fight Net Radio. <laughs> Natural blood builders. Are you kidding me? I can buy natural blood build. Oh, this for your just, horse. Well, you all of this stuff it. is, yeah, the back end yeah. is all horse. How wow. effective is the drug? Tests in Australia have shown that the improvement in an athlete's performance over four weeks. See, I only need four weeks, Andrew. <laughs> Would match those expected over several years. Done deal, Andrew. Done deal. I'm going to the World Jiu-Jitsu Championships. I can't even wait to start taking this stuff. I don't even think he was working if out at a certain point. If my coach actually listens to this episode, he's going to be on me all the time. Like, I can't even... By the way, for those of you guys who actually think I would take this stuff, my coach would know he would not train me. He's that much of a nut about this stuff. Look at A. Lee. Is it... Is it used to detectable? Read that one. Uh, right yeah, right there. here. Uh, knowing that the, they will be tested, ha would athletes just simply stop using it ahead of competition? No, the one above that. It oh, okay. cannot be traced. 
is yeah. use detectable. All right. Uh, yep. It cannot be traced by conventional drug testing. New methods have been developed in France where the results of the blood sample analysis and urine analysis are compared. So his base sample compared to what happened right now is how they got him. Yep. Um, they just knew that there was something off. And then they retested it to find the specific strain. These techniques were introduced ahead of the Sydney Olympics last year. Yeah, I knew that. The following urine tests were then able to highlight any difference between EPO levels. That's how they do it, dude. They're just looking for the EPO level from his... I'm 275 pounds and eating pie to I'm 215 and six weeks away from getting a $5 million payday. They just have to look at the EPO level and go, bro, you're taking something. <laughs> he was uh, taking a lot. Hold on. We got to get to the important part. Uh, is taking the drug dangerous, Andrew? Injecting the drug will thicken the blood. If it is used, uh, wow. overused, the blood will become so thick there is a real danger of the heart stopping when the body slows uh, down, for example, when falling asleep. <laughs> Increasing the likelihood of suffering blood clots, heart attacks. All right, so he's a big, fat, diabetic mess. Yeah, yeah. Who's shooting EPO, HGH. I need yeah. HGH side effects. What are... HG8 side effects. Of course, that's a Google search. Uh, carpal tunnel syndrome. He doesn't need to type on a computer. Nope. Nerve muscle or joint pain. He doesn't care. He's got $5, five million. Yeah, dollars. $5 million. Yep, I have joint Swelling pain. Swelling of the arms and legs from fluid retention. He already looks diabetic. Nobody will notice yep. that, right? Um, high cholesterol levels. He has that already. Yep. Numb and tingling skin. I'm sure he has that already. That's with punches, yeah. And increased risk of heart disease cancerous tumors this is not good there's a lot of heart problems with the shit that he's taking he's yes. a big man hmm. that's not good no it's not cool um that's just it's hilarious andrew um <laughs> he's my hero he's my he hero. is my hero he went for it. hey you see what he said bad decision Made a bad decision, you guys. Yeah, okay, let's go back to his comments now. Made, I think he made like three of them. In the up. last 15 minutes, <laughs> this is what he released. In the wake of these reports, Miller took to Instagram just a few minutes ago and Fight Net Radio likes to keep you up to date, uh, saying, I messed up and I made a bad call. Dude, didn't you say you didn't take anything not too long ago? Oh, <laughs> oh we got oh, I messed up, people. I made a mistake. What? I made a mistake. I mean, I was trying to get paid $5 million. And I like cheeseburgers. <laughs> and I do like you. You guys don't need the sound for this. This is just even better this way. Please, please, Eddie Hearn, if you're listening, I wasn't trying to beat your guy. I was just trying to cut some weight. <laughs> no? You're not going to buy that? Okay, then I didn't take anything. Seriously, please, forgive me. Give me another chance. I don't care if you're Nevada, New York, hell, Thailand. They don't drug test, but whatever. Please give me a boxing license somewhere in the United States, the world, abroad. I, I don't know, but I'm going to go back to eating pie now. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> See, this is what I mean. By the way, for everybody who thinks, oh, I get 10,000 people to listen to my, my videos and watch all my stuff. This is... This is the hottest story out there right now. <laughs> 3,000 people have looked at it. Nobody even cares. Right. This is your boy, Baby Miller here. A lot can be said. Wait, do I need to go back and read it? Wait, I got to split screen this. This is so good. Hold on. Uh, I'm going to open this in a new tab, and I'm going to do the, the audio for you guys. All right. Hold on. Did I get this right? I want to uh, open link in new tab. Oh, it won't let me. I see what you're doing. So I just have to copy that. Bring that down here. This is bad audio and bad video, but trust me, this is some pretty golden stuff. All right. So let me, I'm going to read it. Let's see how it goes this time, Andrew. You ready? Okay. Yep. Here we go. <clears throat> I want to make sure that I'm at the beginning, but I'm going to refresh the page even. All right. Here we go. I'm trying to watch it and synchronize my talk to it at the same time. This is an exclusive live on Fight Net Radio. Here we go. 
This is your boy, Big Baby Miller here. A lot can be said right now. I'm going to be get straight out to the point. I messed up. I messed up. I mean, I, I made a bad call, really. There's a lot of ways I can uh, ways to handle this situation. I handled it wrong. I paid the price for it. I'm missing out on a big opportunity. And you know what? I'm hurting on the inside. That's because I'm not taking the drugs anymore. My heart is bleeding right now because I've taken so many drugs. I hurt my family, my friends, my teams, my supporters. I'm going to own up to it. I'm going to deal with it. I'm going to connect it. Uh, I'm going to correct it. And I'm going to come back even better. That's because I'm taking all these drugs. I'm humbled by the experience to understand how to handle certain things, like taking a lot of performance-enhancing chemicals. I'm going to leave it at that. I love you guys, and I appreciate you guys out there. Fighters, we go through a lot of drugs. I don't want to make a bad name for ourselves. It's just, I got it in front of me, man. Should I try again? I think it was yeah. the added stuff I put in. You think? Yeah, it was, because you were it's on time point to do, the beginning. It's time to do it right and get right. I'm just finishing the sentences for him, people. That's all. I think he wanted to say the things I said. Miller, who's 23 0 and 120 KOs, was set to make a career best by far payday and have a shot at three of the four world championships at Madison Square Garden. It is all over for Jarrell, Big Baby Miller. Also, for those of you who don't know, this guy got a big boost in his career by being on Netflix. I mean, this is basically the American golden child behind Deontay Wilder, Andrew. And this guy just shit the bed epically. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know how they got this so wrong. Um, you know, everyone talks about cycling and stuff. Someone had the wrong date. Did Eddie Hearn throw a test in there that they didn't know about? Um, how you know, three different tests all come back dirty with different drugs. It's uh it's, it's weird. Like I said, epic. it's almost so weird. It, it's it's non epic, Andrew. It's epic. It's epic. It's so epic. By the way, I think that's our best comedy bit to date. And By far. is is he really even an athlete, or is it all just what he's been shoving into his body? I just got an you email I mean? confirmation for all my drugs, Andrew. So I'm gonna try them out and let you know. <laughs> yeah, no shit. Right? You, you start winning for tournaments. My, wait, my cats. I really should have live video on me at these moments for when I'm putting air quotes up with my finger. For my cats, people. So do you need all this drugs just to have a pet horse, or is this only for racing horses? No, apparently I could just go on. I'm not joking. The reason you see this stuff on the side screen that popped up during the video, Andrew, that's because I went to these websites. They're trying to get me to go back and buy it. Of course. Those no, I know that. Follow bots. I'm going to teach you guys something about marketing if you're watching the video. See the stuff on the right side that pop up? These are called follow bots. These came off of the websites that I was just at, and they're trying to get me to go to those websites and buy these drugs. <laughs> for my quote unquote horse. Horses are expensive if you need this shit just for the horse to walk around I, your well, property. Well, no, look, if you got a race horse, I mean, I get it, but woo, woo, there's more side effects for HGH. What? He is the best, man. Increased exercise capacity, improved bone density, build muscle mass, reduce body fat. You fat. Pig, stop eating pie. That's the name of this segment. Jarrell Miller, you fat pig. Stop eating pie and taking drugs. Oh, he's my new favorite thing on the planet, Andrew. He, he I, like need, he needed an upper and something to help him lose weight. The only thing that would make me happier as a guy who does this show every week with you, Andrew, is if all this happened to Jesse Vargas. Like that was that would be the only thing that makes me happier. I would like a fourth test to be dirty. Why oh, not? Just okay. Fucking, it's just, okay. I but look, I'm invested in this guy. I did watch the Netflix movie, right? I knew about Jarrell Big Baby Miller and his come up and his the fact that he was this independent guy trying to fight the system and not work with a major promoter. He was that guy, right? I'm gonna just do it by knocking people out, right? Well, you got all the way to the top, bro. You did it, and you Damn. choked. Choach. I mean, what do you want me to – did I get that word correct? You're a little more slangish than me. Uh, you bit the – like, there are no expletives that I can say on the level of choking that you pulled off. Like, 
This is the most epic fail in boxing history. Yeah. Yes, so you got a is. Netflix show as a guy coming out of he was Olympic, right? Jarrell's Jarrell's out of the Olympics or something, right? No. He, didn't, he didn't have the Olympics. He's the guy who no. didn't go to the Olympics. No, no, no. So he did it the hard way, right? Goes through the amateurs, stays an amateur almost forever, right? I mean, look at this. You guys don't know. Jarrell Miller is like he's got a his it's a great history oh, he's a right? kickboxer the former kickboxer he literally fights all the way from the bottom up he's 30 years old you're literally looking at his one window to pull this all off doesn't really have a major name promoter right he was born really? and raised on the mean street of brooklyn brooklyn he learned muay thai at 14 to defend himself because he was getting his butt kicked this is a great story andrew as an amateur boxer, boxer Miller reached uh, the Golden Gloves in 2007, right? So he's only been a pro for about 12 years. Is that crazy? <laughs> hey, look at his kickboxing career. Uh-oh. Maybe red flag should have been up. I can't even imagine what he uh, – <laughs> what did he get tested? I love it when you click on something on Wikipedia <laughs> and it just tells you. Here's a series of drugs that I've never heard of. Yeah. Methylene – Nanamine, commonly known as 1-3-dimalim-shamalama ding-dong, bro, uh, or simply DMAA, as, is as an indirect, I can't even say half these words, an indirect sympathetic it's a nasal. Nasal. Right, drug invented and developed by Eli Lilly and company marketed as an inhaler, uh, inhaled nasal decongestant. Oh, it's a steroid. Na all nasal decongestants are steroids, Andrew. Actually, mm. now this is a guy who's got bad uh, sinuses and bad chest. Yeah, he's been popped before. This is not, man, not terrible. <sighs> terrible, terrible, terrible. So you fucked Dude, he's up. He's got history. Kid. He's got a story. He gets a shot at the unified titles, Andrew. So he messed up in kickboxing. Now he messed up boxing. What do he say? He's going to MMA next? He's going to uh, be in the MMA? No, I think you go to Thailand and fight on Manny Pacquiao fight cards. Mm, I don't know if they have an opponent for him, Lee. I don't even know what to say about this guy. Yeah. I mean, it is literally the biggest. I'm right about the Netflix thing, right? Jarrell Miller is the guy from Netflix. Maybe I'm shitting on the bet on this one. But I really think that they told this dude's story on Netflix. He's part of a Netflix movie. Right? I'm not making this up. I don't know, dude. I never heard of it, so I'm just waiting for it. Well, there's a movie up. on Netflix, and I thought Jarrell Miller was one of those guys. Hmm. I don't know. In fact, Maybe. I know it. I know it. I just have to look it up. I just I have to look it up. I really do, but I'm so, I'm almost a hundred. I'm not gonna back off this. I'm pretty positive. He, he probably is. He probably is. He did have a look at there. Daredevil's run. Jarrell Miller Netflix movie. Movie. I'm telling you. Oh, well, sadly, the news is all skewed in the algorithm. Yeah. Talking about yes. him taking PEDs and like screwing up his life. The 100 Best Movies on Netflix. Why is... Yeah, it's got to be here, right? The boxing one is on here. I'm not going to go through all of them, but I'm telling you there's a boxing movie that follows four or five careers, and he's one of them. I mean, it's not much, right? I hear you. But I'll look it up. It was a documentary. I could be wrong. You guys are probably all screaming at the computer right now. But it's still a great story, man. It Can't ain't be... a great story anymore, bro. It's oh, over no. now. It's fucking well, over. no, I look. I would like to say this if Jarrell's miss listening, because um, thank you, because I wouldn't have known the drugs to take that would allow me to eat pie and be a <laughs> fat ass diabetic and still train at a super high level. <laughs> Eating cheeseburgers all day now. <laughs> cheeseburgers all day long. Look at Bad Left Hook, man. It is all about Miller. By the way. I'm going to tell you why they're doing this because the initial post got so you guys should really look at the number of likes. You guys can't see their insight. We get an insight line when you have a page that'll tell you how many people are trending it or looking at it. 
these are just likes and comments. You can't really base anything on that, but they tell you the uh, number of people that are looking at it. Yeah, see, they're going back to the well a lot on it. That means yep. it trended really well, Andrew. Yep. It trended really well. Woo! That's awesome, Andrew. That's just, I don't even know what to say about it. That's awesome. So right right now, uh, who was it? Michael Hunter? Is that the kid's name we've been talking about? Yeah. Yeah, Hunter and um, they're saying Ortiz, dude. Ortiz is going to have until like Tuesday to give Eddie Hearn a decision of whether he'll take the fight. Uh, I don't think he will because of the Espinosa calculator. They're going to try to keep Ortiz for a pay-per-view event, I believe. But who knows? Maybe Ortiz says, you know what? I'm fucking 50. I need to make money. If you fire me after I do it, who cares? I'm going to, this is my retirement. Maybe Ortiz takes it. Highly unlikely. Look for Hunter to still get that shot. He's got a shot, Andrew. He's got a shot at going viral with this shitty video. He's at 22,000 views from two hours ago. I may have to download this and upload it into the stream for everybody to watch to see if he can actually go viral uh, again. Uh, hurry up. Oh, it's only been out for two hours. We'll be fine. I'll do it after the show. Should we look at the comments to see how much people shit on him? Uh, yeah, why not? Uh, this, I'm not going to give out the names. I'll just go with Serrano sisters, Serrano sisters. Good, uh, good name. Uh, I'm not defending, but I can't judge either. When Canelo did it, he was, uh, forgiven. He didn't do the same thing. All right. Yeah. Listen, yeah. Serrano sister, you don't listen to my show. So, uh, you don't know the history. First of all, he didn't inhale a cow that was made of steroid meat, which was actually a plausible story for the kind. Like, there's no plausible story, <laughs> right? If you're going to take a steroid, right. take a steroid that's got a plausible back end. <laughs> hey, it's in my nasal inhaler. Damn it. Right? Right. That's right. what you said. Oh, it was a supplement I was taking that's common in all supplements. I didn't know. Right? That's the shit you do. These this three the drugs specifically are fed to horses to increase their performance. Yeah. It, it, this is a cocktail to make them Superman. Fuck that. Yeah. Uh, let's see what else she says. I'm sure Miller is truly sorry. Oh, I bet he is too. Most will continue to deny it and lie like Luis Ortiz. Why? What did Luis Ortiz do? He tested positive too. Who cares? He's not getting <laughs> a shot at anything great. You think getting a shot at Deontay is the golden child? You guys don't know shit about bot. This is a casual fan. Who found that on accident? No, Let's she's take a look at boxers. the Serrano sisters. That's the boxer. Now she does BJJ and MMA. She's one zero and one. She's a, a seven division world yeah. champion as well. That's Mario. Shout out girl. to Amanda uh, Serrano. That's uh, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Shout out to Amanda. Look, she's a fighter. I'll, you know, I'll take what she has to say, but you are wrong, bitch. You're just way Jeez. wrong. Jeez, wow. Hey, she's wrong, man. Yeah, I don't know. You don't say either. that to your woman when she's wrong? Look, no. Bitch, what are you no. doing? Step. <laughs> yeah, sure. I know you don't either. He's <laughs> lying over there. <laughs> Mine got so mad at me the other day, she actually said this, and I quote, leave the room, I'm going to stab you. I, oh, I was going to say throw a knife at you. Damn it. <laughs> <laughs> you need to leave the room right now. I want to stab you. She didn't say punch me, tackle me, beat me up. She goes, I just want to stab you. Easy Cuban, back away from the knife. Put the get the knife out of your hand. By the way, I'm saying that in case I wind up dead by knife wound as well. You can go back and play this in the trial. Uh, MP Keen went from champ to chump real quick. I agree, bro. Uh, Andy, anyone supporting this needs a brain scan. I agree. Mealori 07, you should not be allowed to fight ever again. Shame, shame, shame. I don't know about that. I'd let him fight again. I think it's a great story. Stevie Shaw 333. Bye bye, boxing career and the paycheck. Shame on you going that route. I am the Joker wrote. What part of that was trolling, Marky Boy? Come on, English me. It's all facts. This is trolling. Uh, I see you've changed. I see you haven't changed one bit. Still full of shit and piss. You're the gift that keeps on giving, Marky Boy. I don't. Is that who? Uh, he's talking I mean? to someone else. I guess. Uh, T Tierra Mizzou or T Mizzou. So what if you never got caught? Shut the fuck up. <laughs> and I agree. Like your goal is not to get caught. 
Uh, MS Bad Child or Bangladesh Child. Bruh, how the fuck you failed three tests? <laughs> Didn't you study the rules and study the steroids that you were taking? My, I can't say that word. N-I-G-G-A. <laughs> All that shit what you was taking at the conference, now your ass is embarrassed? Oh, these comments are the best. How is he not taking this down? Uh, Listra Chan 007, uh, you should probably shut up and learn to read. Oh, it's good. Uh, Sion, you dropped the bag, fam. Uh, yeah, it's all shit I can't read. Uh, have a Halva Kindle wrote at least show some self respect and admit that your friends. <laughs> That's a, this is a good one. At least show some self respect and admit that you're a friend like Canelo, who also cheated. You people are just making fools of yourself. There are better ways to support your friends, but not like this. You probably take drugs too. Well, we're hoping. I'm just telling you this as a broadcaster. I'm hoping he tests positive for cocaine next. Uh, <laughs> Waymall, three times a drug cheat, says it all. After accusing AJ in the presser, you lost all your credibility you had, any, if you had any at all. Here we go. Cheryl. No wonder your fat ass was doing all that trash talking. Your natural testosterone wasn't enough, so you were supplying yourself with extra manhood in the hope your balls would get bigger. Bravo. Bravo. That's 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 quality. That's what I was waiting for as a payoff in this whole thing. Cheddar style. Ha 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 ha. What a joke. Homie scared to fight someone real weak, bro. Uh no. All right. We're giving him too much time, Lee. His day is over. Oh, we're at the last one. Dragon Race. As you are champion and one of the most important representative of women's boxing around the world. Uh, I don't yeah. even see what this is. Yeah. HGH, baby. Yeah, uh, congratulations to Big Baby Miller as being the literal dumbest human in boxing, Andrew. Yeah, dipshit of the year so far. The trifecta, buddy. The trifecta. I don't. I. I don't he, even. He was trying to beat Thanos in that fight. <laughs> Woo. He, he was trying to bring that shit home. Uh, <laughs> I went down the wrong path. You think? You I don't think? know, bro. I'm inserting a gratuitous commercial right here for everybody. Go to boxfanexpo.com on uh, Cinco de Mayo weekend. That's May 4th. Uh, you have 14 days, 15 hours. You know what? Come to the event. Come find me. I'll take photos. They'll be posted on our Facebook page, Instagram, everywhere. Uh, if you don't know what I look like already, but come and find me and I will hook you up with free beverages. As you are aware from yesterday's show or you're following the tale, I will be having a, uh, a parking lot party apparently and serving beer to get everybody drunked up so they can go talk shit to James Tony, which to me, I still think would be the funniest thing ever, ever. Go to boxfanexpo.com. Uh, I'll be there. Willie will be there. Will uh, Manny Pacquiao will be there. I'm positive. If Willie's there, Manny Pacquiao will be on site. Wouldn't you agree to that one, Andrew? <laughs> yes, sir. It is by far the best. Of all the impersonations done on the show, Will's, who has he done? He did Verdejo and he's done uh, Pacquiao. Verdejo. What's the one where your friends thought that wisely talking shit? Was that Verdejo? Yeah, no, no, it's Pacquiao. Pacquiao? Yeah, his yeah. Pacquiao spot on, bro. Spot. I don't know. This is better. Go to WWE.com for $9.99, Andrew. No, not working for you. Also, we're just uh, a few days away. Go to lasvegasdiscount.net. I just read a list of 10 free things to do in Vegas, and I've only done one of the I, – I mean, I've done all of them, but if somebody asked me, what can you do for free in Vegas, um, my answer would be get drunk. Like, what What am I missing out? Like, how do you pay for alcohol? People who pay for alcohol in Vegas are the dumbest human beings I've ever met. They don't give out free drinks in Vegas. Yes. Yes, they do. Everywhere, literally, go just go stand by a slot machine, you idiot. Just stand by it. Wait patiently. You don't have to tip. She's already jaded. She's already had two husbands. She's got three kids. She doesn't care about the buck you're gonna give her. Just get the free drink. Put it in a plastic cup. Go walk the boulevard. I I don't see what the problem is. 
uh, we do this frequently on the show. I will do it again today real quick. You want to check in on Friday and you want to check out on Sunday the 5th. Uh, go to lasvegasdiscount.net. Uh, it's also an eBay channel so you can get uh, money back uh, on your purchase. We like to update it weekly. Uh, our pick yesterday and for the last couple of weeks is still wound up being the Park MGM. Right now, I'll just do lowest price in Vegas because you're going to be a hardcore diehard. We lost the $69 room, Andrew. Oh, that's the highest price room. I don't want that. And who would pay that price? Seriously. Uh, Super 8 Las Vegas. Nobody would stay there. Nobody would stay there. Nobody would stay there. Don't stay at Circus Circus. You'll get ringworm. I've said that a million times. The best value, if you're on a budget, this double tree by the, the airport, it's a really good hotel. I can't stress this enough. This is a really good off the strip. It's over by McCracken Airport. They've got the, the ultra hygienic rooms. I'm a big fan of this double tree. I'm not just saying that because I host events there and I might get a discount. And I think the Golden Gate for a buck 40 in downtown is not a bad deal since they've remodeled the room. Uh, Hooters is a dump. Go stay at Motel 6 before that. I think it's the Rio. Best bang for the buck, Andrew? Might be the Rio. Might be. Might be. Might be. I hate to put the Rio over. I just do. I'd like to introduce our new sponsor to the show, the Rio Hotel and Casino, who I've constantly shit on. Go to the Rio Hotel and Spa.com. All right. Last but not least, we have uh, two more stories. Let's do the Danny Garcia, Adrian Granados uh, fiasco, right? So this just in for a few hours ago. This coming to us from the LA Times, your complete coverage of the weigh-in for Granados. By the way, tickets are not only just available for this, you can sit anywhere on Saturday. <laughs> what, what's it called? Infinity StubHub Park for Mental Health and Wellness. I, I don't even know what it's called. We used to call it StubHub before. Are they really I, fighting at StubHub? It's not called StubHub anymore. It used to be StubHub Park, but it got bought out, right? I don't but know. They're fighting in they, Southern California? What? Danny Garcia is fighting in yeah, Southern they're California? Fighting over at the, they're fighting over at the old StubHub Center or whatever oh, it's called now, man. Infinity Healthcare, Mental Healthcare Associates. But yes. Wow, they took Danny out of the East Coast. Huh? I guess he really doesn't sell a ticket over there. It's not the Stub Hubs. It's Dignity Healthcare Sports Park, which, by the oh, way, is a mental health care facility, which apparently I'm the only one who keeps up on this stuff. This is the weirdest branding sponsoring I've ever heard of, ever, 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 hey, bonds they ever. Pay. Look, Bro. there it is. Holy yeah. smokes. By the way, Magna Media is doing the credentials on it, which is the reason I'm not going. You already tried? It's Magna Media, bro. Oh I don't my even, gosh, I don't even put in the stress on it anymore. You act like there's no turnover at Magna Media. Uh, every <sighs> time I've applied, even for a low end fight, Andrew. Yeah, and really. Huh? Checked, by the way, I've checked with my sources. They're not forwarding my credential in, even to be reviewed. Like I'm a permanent black ball. That's why yeah, well, that I'm top rank, live or die. Bob Aram is my favorite people. <laughs> I will buy them coffee. I will make friends with Chris Algieri. I'll stop the Chris Algieri jokes. I admit it. Across the board, I'm all the way in. Uh, I love top rank. I can't say. They approved me for con. If you were following that on Twitter or following their media, cent uh, Evan Korn, who does their promotions, there were media companies asking for like six credentials at a time for Con and Crawford at Madison Square Garden. For those of you who don't know, Madison Square Garden is literally one of the smallest arenas in the United States to have a fight in. It's just the location and that's the big deal, right? But people were asking like for four to six media credentials at a time from around the world. I got approved. I'll say it again. I got approved. You know why? Because I went to Fresno. <laughs> this time I'm just sending Andrew to Fresno actually worse I'm sending him to Stockton <laughs> uh, okay let's see what kind of tickets I can get for Saturday night Andrew I only want to spend $30 for this fight clearly that's all this is 
would you spend 30 bucks to go see it live? Yeah. Yeah. All, right. All right. Let's see. Well, look at the seats you can get for 30 bucks, bro. You tell me floor? I can get a floor seat for 30 bucks? <laughs> I'm sorry. Damn. No, 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 hey. no. But those are a buck 75 for ringside. Oh, okay. Thank ringside. God. Right. Thank Hold God. On. I was, I was Let me see. like, holy shit, Danny. <laughs> Yeah, I don't think you can get away with 30 bucks, but it's pretty bad. Let's keep it to about 50 bucks. I mean, that's the most I'd go is 50 bucks, right? You can get some pretty decent seats, dude. It's it's kind of it's kind of it's kind of sad. Damn. I know. Have they even well, they have sold, right? Okay, All so the upper bowl angles, right? These that's are literally the worst seats. It's a small venue to begin with. When yeah, I took they sold my dad, a lot of seats, Lee. Those, all those great ones are sold, right? Yeah. Well, yeah, dude, no, dude, the seats fine. only cost 50 bucks a piece. That's fine, dude. As long as people are coming to see these two fight, that's fine. Yeah, the be the very best seats are 50 bucks. If you can find a seat, they're... How much are the expensive ones? $70? What's a ringside seat cost? Are there any of it? Nothing ringside at all. But there are two resale tickets at $1.75 a piece. Which for ringside seats right there, Andrew, even as resale, they're having a problem moving them. Should I go to StubHub and see what the aftermarket looks like? Yeah. Right. It's right there, it looks like a sold out fight. Yep. Let's see what I could really. I bet on the day of the fight, Andrew, I bet you I can get $10 tickets. I'll bet you. Uh, Danny Garcia. And what do I get? Uh, why is Danny Garcia not coming up? Boxing. Premier Boxing, Gar Garcia Granados. $40, dude. It's cheaper than face value. And a lot of seats, bro. Same seats that people paid $50 for, I can get them for $40 right now. So they're not moving. They're not people moving, are already bro. dropping the price before the fight. Yep. So people are, are backing out on their tickets, and there are... Looking in, it says you there's can a better... Lot. There's a it lot. There's a lot. It says you can better your tickets for eight bucks. What does that mean? Yeah, that's that's crazy. Well, they'll tell you the. All right, so forty bucks gets you there. Let's see what the best seat in the place cost me. A hundred dollars. <laughs> is that sad? <laughs> Sorry. It's funny. It is. That's what funny. Danny Garcia is worth. Danny Garcia is worth a hundred bucks. <laughs> there, there's restaurants that are charging more. <laughs> Uh, dude, my, my lunch bill was more, ex okay. Right. I had lunch at El Torito today. It was 50 bucks and we were buying lunch specials. There was right. two of us. If there were four of us. Yeah. Yeah. I'm with you. <laughs> Danny Garcia's just not, a, why would you hold this fight here, Andrew? I don't Let's know. Let's start there, right here. There First one, of all, why? I'm going to say Granados is from Chicago, I believe. And, uh, it is Chicago, and Philadelphia. Danny, and Danny's from um, Philly, yeah. All right. Am I wrong? Maybe this is an amazing fight card that we're just sleeping on, and I should be spending my 20 bucks to go to this fight, Andrew. Let's see what the fight card looks like, shall we? Maybe I've completely missed out on this. Oh, it, says, it says he's from Illinois. Okay, so if I go at 3 o'clock and Adrian get the most Granados. bang for my $30, which, by the way, Thirty dollars is so ridiculous. I I can't even get a half a tank of gas for thirty bucks in LA right now. That's how funny it is. It will cost me more to drive to the event than it will for me to get a ticket. <laughs> Nelson Hampton versus Nassim Assad, Ronaldo Romero versus Anderson Figueroa, Raymond Murata versus Jose something, Ricky Not Lopez, there. Joe Perez, Sloan Mondragon. Nope. Omar Juarez, Dwayne Bond. All right. So your biggest fight at the bottom of the card is Ricardo Espinosa versus John Real Casamiero. 12 rounds for the vacant WBO interim bantamweight title. That'll, that'll be the end of the Facebook broadcast, I guess. They don't have... Here's the problem with the PBC. They don't have, like, DAZN. So, what, that's going to be on Fox? This yeah. whole thing's on Fox. So, yeah, they'll probably do first fight at 3 o'clock as well. Carlos Baldera versus Luis May. Alfred Angulo, Andrew. Ooh, there's a big name. We haven't said his name on the show in a long time. He's one of your favorites. 
He's taking on Everett Bravo in a 10-round super middleweight bout. When did he blow up to super middleweight? Uh, Jason Rosario, Jorge Cota. Then a title fight. Brandon Figueroa takes on Jan Frez Parjejo. <laughs> Jorge Cota? I want to know who his grandpa was. <laughs> Parjejo? Jan Frez Parjejo. Look at this name. Wait, I'll drop it onto the screen for you guys to see it. I'm just reading up on an upper screen. Jan Frez, Par well, he's got my favorite name in boxing for sure. Uh, we get to see Andy Ruiz Jr. take on Alexander uh, Dimitrico. That's what sound. If anything's going to sell the fight, it's Andy Ruiz right there. I mean, Southern California, you got Andy Ruiz Jr. He's a former Olympian, I believe, for Mexico, though, the heavyweight. Um, so that that's who they're trying to sell the ticket with. It is right. not great. Granados so Garcia is gonna, not pushing in Southern California. Because we do this on the show all the time, Andrew, um, I'm going to set my price alert. I'm willing to take two seats. I'm sure I can find somebody or a homeless person to go with me to the fight. I'm going to set a price alert for, what do you say, $15? Why not? <laughs> all right. It's it's amazing that they put Danny out there. I can't believe he can't turn over a gate in uh, the Barclay anymore. All right, I set my price alert. I'm willing to go to this fight for $15. I'm all set, Andrew. The only question is, what's the lowest price ticket right now? They got to drop. They got to go to half that price for me to get interested. If I can get a $20 seat, because it yeah. is such a small bowl... I'm going to move anyway. I already know that about me. PBC's never done me a favor. I'll move to the fucking floor. I'll be there at 3 o'clock. I'll sit ringside. Try to get me out. I'll play the whitey card. I'm white. My powers are beyond your comprehension. There you go, Andrew. <sighs> Where is, where's the story? Did anything oh, wow. come out of the press conference other than I'm calling him a bitch? Uh, no, uh, no, uh, it's, it got heated at the press conference after they, I, I should say it got heated after the weigh-ins, right? Uh, Garcia, blah, 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 Garcia, blah, blah, blah. I'm ready for anybody. I'm not looking past Granados at the end of the day. I have to get this victory. Now, the reason this is a shit fight, because I did look this up, Andrew, let's cover it. This dude is minus 1200. He's plus 700. Mm-hmm. Now, I might not know a lot about boxing, admittedly. I'm only into it for the entertainment value and the ring card girls. But if you're minus 1,200, meaning uh, I have to bet $1,200 to win $100, I'm going to go out on a limb that Danny Garcia should destroy Adrian Granados. He's definitely going for a knockout uh, tomorrow night. Yes, sir. Uh, Granados is, is probably a lightweight fighting out of his um, division. I've always said that about him. He's a decent fighter, uh, good boxer puncher, knows how to exchange, mix it up. Uh, he just has no pop. He is not a fucking welterweight. I have said it time and time again. They continue to chase money with the kid. Uh, you know, the PBC, all their fighters wanted to get to welterweights for some reason. That's where their, their goal was. And he's going to get probably stopped by Danny Garcia because of power. Now, if he's able to outbox, stay away, not get hit with the left hand, there's opportunity for him. Danny's not the best boxer in the world. Uh, he can be outboxed. So Granados has a slim chance. He has a better chance than Amir Khan, right? He has a better chance than Anthony Corolla did. Um, but it, it all depends on if Danny can land the, the, his, his sweet left hook. Um, that that punch is one of the best in boxing. That's all Danny really ever had, and uh, that's what Granados got to look out for. Yeah, I completely agree. Now, I will I say, I will say, if you didn't watch the weigh-ins, Lee, Danny looks did something looked wrong with Garcia. I don't. He looked pale, and he did not look all there today. And then he talked about, oh, I'm in great health. And I didn't, and I didn't know why he threw that in there. If there was a rumor going on out there that he, maybe he was coughing or he looked sick or what, but he did, he did not look a hundred percent on the weigh-ins today. Um, now maybe that's cutting weight. Who knows? Tomorrow we'll see. But um, 
that's about the only thing that was interesting besides the fact that they started talking to each other a little it was nothing even serious uh the fight overall it's just it's it's sad to see where danny garcia has fallen uh you guys got to remember with golden boy He's one of the best prospects in the world, right? Lucas Matisse, Eric Morales, Zab Judah. He had wins over all of these guys. Um, what did Al Heyman do for him? Um, he got him Adrian Granados. All right, he so got him, he got him Fox fights, Lee. Fox fights. The guy should have been on fucking pay per view. This guy should have already been in big fights with Terrence Crawford, Mikey Garcia. Porter, Pacquiao, right? He should have been in big fights. He lost fights. at the Danny, big level. I mean, Danny he lost, lost on Diego. Fox. That's my point. I don't care that he lost to Thurman or he lost to all these guys. He lost on Fox. Nothing. No big paydays. So you're saying it's okay to lose as long as you lose on a pay-per-view. When you when you just defeated Lucas Matisse, one of the, the, the who was considered one of the baddest dudes at the junior welterweight division, you're a five to one fucking underdog. Yeah, your next big fight probably should have been on pay per view. You probably should have, but again, because you got that stink on you. I mean, bruh. Keep going, Paul. They fed him. They fed him. They fed him. <laughs> Paul Mon Lamont Peterson. Wow, these are big names here. Look at that. Lucas fucking Matisse, bro. Yeah, right here. That was his next fight up. In Vegas. In Vegas. Yes, he was the co-main event to, to um, Mayweather's fight. And then, he's fighting, Golden Point. and then he's literally fighting in Puerto Rico shortly thereafter. Rod Selka, Lamont P. Paul Mon. Here's Where the, are here's your the big thing. Look at this. Look at how far apart these dates are, Andrew. Yeah, there's one. Right. But even if you follow say, up after, look, Sulka, Peterson, Malinaji, Guerrero, Vargas, right? Lee, Lee, but time out. Let, go, look at Zab, go down. Zab, Ju, Matisse, Judah, Khan, Morales. Look at yeah. this. Holt, Campbell. These are all names. Then you go with uh, Al Heyman and you get what? Yeah, I agree. I agree. He is literally what the PBC is. He's a, he's a blown fighter. He's a he's a blown opportunity. And getting a big knockout here isn't going to do anything for his career. No, it's not. It maybe gets him a shot at Terrence Crawford. Dead serious. Look, he's already went Sean Porter. He's already went Keith Thurman. This fight doesn't get him Spence. Spence might already be wrapped up for a while. Danny Garcia right now is fighting. Who could he fight? Uh, Broner. Maybe there's a Broner fight there. PBC hasn't worked that one yet. Shit. But but no, he, he is on the bottom of the bucket. That's why I said very well he could be going to top rank and fighting uh, um, Terrence Crawford here in the near future. He needs to get a win tomorrow, though. Big time. So what's your prediction? Uh, he's going to... I know what's going to happen. I'm going to tell you what's going to happen because it's the PBC, Andrew. You want me to give you the... It's a draw. <laughs> no, it won't be a draw. I'll tell you exactly what will happen. It'll be a 12-round split decision for... Um, okay, I like where you're going with this. With the crowd booing. With the with crowd the... booing. They're going to be mad what? that they spent the $40. Because you know what, Lee? I'm going to tell you, Adrian Granados, he's Mexican, correct? Mm-hmm. He's Mexican, so he's going to have Andy Ruiz's crowd there. A lot of Andy Ruiz Jr. fans in Southern California. So so he, he's going to have all those guys behind him. If he can start building momentum in this fight, you're absolutely right. There could be a, a situation where they got to do a, a split decision. Like, and, don't get, and by the way, I'm going to say this. I'm not trying to, and I'm not being a jerk on this. This isn't a bad, like if you're a local fight fan, right, in L.A., Mexican-American, well priced, um, I'll tell you that. Great, it's a great price, man. Yeah, yeah. I mean, even if you're buying them straight from the site, I would still tell you to go to StubHub or SeatGeek and wait till the last minute and buy yourself a twenty dollars seat. But, I mean, realistically speaking, Andrew, you're getting the real deal fight. I mean, yeah, it's a bullshit fight, but let's be perfectly honest. It's not that bad. I mean, I've seen a whole hell of a lot. You would pay more. I'll tell. 
here's the funny part. Watch this. So Thompson's Boxing Promotion, who is a local promoter out here, has a fight on Friday, right? Thompson Boxing. You, you're aware of Thompson, Thompson yes. Boxing, right? Yeah. Talk, Thompson tickets, right? He's got a fight on Friday. I'll bet you his seats are more expensive for Friday night than Granados. What no. do you want to bet? No, I don't, oh look at they're almost the same. 46 46 and 100, bro. <laughs> How crazy is that? Yeah, no, it's Those sad. are the same prices at the Double Tree in Ontario. Shout out to Thompson Boxing. I haven't been to one in a while. Um Oh wait, and it's sold out, Andrew. And it's sold out. <laughs> Not a, it's good sold out. Not a look, good look for the boxing whisperer, Mr. Al Heyman, huh? <laughs> How hilarious is that shit? <laughs> the yeah, Double Tree could it. sell out. <laughs> tickets are still available for Granados on Saturday. Imperial, California. Mm -mm -mm. How Andrew. far is that away from StubHub? Uh, not that far. Good. Uh, that's Imperial, it, that's it. hold on. That's uh, Andy Gar Andy Ruiz's uh, hometown, dude. Yeah, Imperial is. I want to say it's like Riverside. I want to say, but Imperial. Uh, Imperial County. Where is it? Where is this guy? Uh, that's Imperial, California. Mm-hmm. Where is Imperial California? No, that, that's Imperial California right there. Oh, it's far from it. Dude, it's on the El Centro Mexicali border. That's yeah, close enough. Yeah. <laughs> but I'm telling you, this is like literally on the border of Arizona. Like, this is in the middle of, for those that, let me put this into perspective for you of how far out in the middle of nowhere. Yeah, it's Here's nowhere. Here's Arizona. This is the back edge of San Diego over by Mexicali. It's El Centro is what it is. He's from El Centro. It's like saying you're from El Centro. Oh, El Centro is a big city. Okay. Well, uh, there it is. I mean, but it's a border town. I mean, it's in the middle of nowhere. And if I was featuring Andy Ruiz... There are Mexican casino, uh, I shouldn't say, the Mexican Native American casinos, right? All through here are the casinos. Going back, Alpine is the closest one. Alpine has a casino, uh, like Pachanga or Morongo or one of those. Wait, what do they have? Uh, casino. He's fighting Alexander Dimitrenko. Um, he should win. The guy's been knocked out three Thank times. You, Saquon, that's where I would have done it. Why wouldn't you done it, done it at one of those places, Andrew? Those are big names. He's been knocked out by Jennings, Parker, and Pulev. So Andy Ruiz should have his way with them Saturday night. Oh, bro. <sighs> Double Tree is sold out. Where and is Danny the fight is on? What is the fight on Fox? Is it going to be a Fox fight or? Show yeah, it's on Fox all it's day. Fox. Yeah, I don't think they're going to show the uh, crappy undercard stuff. That'll be on Facebook. That's how the PBC normally does it now. So the under undercards, I, I don't have to look it up. I just know this because I I watch all the fights on Saturday. So starting at three o'clock, you'll have uh, Facebook fights on PBC to watch. You'll have uh, ESPN two to watch. And then this is going to go head to head with Crawford and Khan at eight o'clock. Yeah, that's, that's crazy. Dumb. Yeah, that's dumb. There's no way you're going to get any viewers. Let's I've, go but, to PB. Go to Facebook real fastly. Facebook PBC website. Let's see how many people hit like on the way in. This is going to show us a lot when they go up against PBC. Or just PBC. Eh, it doesn't matter. Whatever is going to show us the, the weigh-ins. I want to know how many people are liking it, how many are. All right. Let's see if they're getting any love at all for this fight that they're pushing. Do, 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 do. Uh, I, I guarantee it's not going to be a lot, Andrew. <laughs> Come on. At least Load. it's free. Oh, I pushed the button before it loaded. 
I am running too many apps. So there's 5G now. I have 5G on my phone, but my cable provider is not fast enough, and I actually have pretty good cable. I'm just using too many apps. All right, let's see. Uh, oh, I've only seen 800. No, mm. 800. At least for it's got 318 on shares, though. Yeah, I'm not looking at their exposure number or what their look rate is. This is when he called him a bitch, by the way, for any of you watching. Like, this little thing that happens. You see how small Granados looks, though? This. And he says, uh, welcome to the big time, bitch. Like, that's the punchline to this. And, like, they're really in the big time. He should have said, look around, motherfucker. Where are we fighting at? <laughs> big time. Dignity Healthcare Park. That's yeah. where you're fighting. Yeah. Dignity Healthcare Park. I don't like Danny Garcia. I don't know if it's the way he styles his hair. I don't just, I'm not into it. He's, this is getting no action. You could just tell by the number of likes. Let's see what it says under comments, shall we? Let's see if the fans are into it. Battle of the 147 gatekeepers. Uh, I'm taking Danny this time. Well, why wouldn't you? He, I know. <laughs> a 12 to 1 favorite. Hey, he went on a limb there. Ah. Uh, Rosa Zamora, Garcia can't beat A fighters. I bet Granados is going to give him a run for his money. I bet you he is too. He'll at least yeah. go 12. Danny said big leagues. He, he lost to all of them, two robberies. Uh, I don't know if I'd say they were robberies. No, he, what he means right there is he has two wins that were robberies. Oh, okay. Yeah, Danny should have lost. I believe it was to Peterson and um, Herrera. It was Mauricio Herrera. So was this one, uh, Alex is for. Team Garcia, Luis is for Team Granados. Danny by KO, he's primed hungry for another world title. Go oh, get him, God. champ. Easy white. You got to be white, right? Paul Martin, you sound like a dumbass. <laughs> got a guitar. I, look, I'm looking you up, bro. I'm just looking you up. Yeah, you're on, a dumb, got... fat white guy. Middle-aged white. By the way, here's the demographic <laughs> of fight fans. The fact oh, that he gets me. laid, Andrew, Don't be... I know, that's awesome. He's got a Go picture back. of... Danny, Danny Garcia yeah, on he likes, Yeah, he likes Danny. Leave him alone. Don't be doing this to fans. Go back. Dude, it's a little gay. I'm yeah, not, dude. It's a little gay. I'm not saying he's gay, because clearly there's a woman that would have sex with him, but it looks a little gay. It looks a lot gay, actually. I mean, I, I'll call it for what it is. I want to see if anybody has any clever comments about this fight being a complete sham. I mean, they're not shitting on the fight. I can tell you that. I expected at well, least... See, the first one says Battle of Gatekeepers. That's pretty much shitting on the oh, fans hey, look, for the this fight. Nitwit was dumb enough to put his ticket online. I'm in the building. <laughs> I paid. I'm in the building. Yeah, I'm way to go. <laughs> I'm going to take a copy of this Again. and then go to your seat and say it's my seat, bro. My and wife, gives my, wife gives my daughter more money for lunch. <laughs> school i'm rooting for garcia i'm rooting for granados danny porta american porta porta rarican he is not ja 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 he don't even speak spanish stop the bs you guys are haters man i don't have issues with him i know either. i know you know because he can't speak spanish porta american, not puerto I, I mean willie i'm his sure father, willie his, say that danny his father garcia's is literally from puerto rico that's stupid Garcia was never that good. Heyman took care of him because he sold some tickets. His father needs to get smacked in the teeth. That's actually the, pretty. The funny. only place, the only place Danny went wrong, and and if uh, we can't do audio, when you when you watched the Herrera fight, they tried to have Danny speak Spanish in that during that um, mm. promotions for that fight. Yeah, it was butchered, dude. It was bad. It was real bad. Like they were laughing at him as he's talking bad. And and then and then in during the fight, the Mexican Mauricio Herrera whoops his ass. So Puerto Rico was like, "Yeah, we don't want this kid. You take his ass back to the East Coast or where where Philadelphia. Take him back over there. They didn't want nothing to do with them." Here's he an and, here's an Andrew comment. You like this one, Andrew? Christian Vasquez. Danny will close his eyes and swing and land a lucky punch again. <laughs> That's that left uh, hook. It's going to be a good fight. Can't wait. Well, you don't know shit anything about boxing, George. I mean, I, or Jorge. I don't want to, you know. It might be, though. They're gatekeepers. They might be lead. They might have to go for broke, both of them. 
Hey, see Team Chicago. See, I don't know There's why he says There's a lot it. of Granados action. Look, Granados, Granados, yep. Granados, Granados. Told Granados. You he's a decent fighter, bro. He's fighting out of his division. He has six losses now. Matter of fact, fuck that. I'm going to go look up. Where the hell did this kid get all his damn losses at? Better not be for the team. Better not be Granados. For There's a lot of activity for Granados. I didn't know that there was a fan base for Adrian Granados. Shit. What do I know? Maybe I, I don't know. Maybe I should he's read the comments been, more often. He's never Granados. been stopped. He's never been stopped. But he lost to Broner in a split decision. He lost to Porter in a unanimous. He lost to Brad Solomon in a split. Felix D Diaz in a majority. You know, a lot of these are real close. Another Frankie Gomez in a majority. Another one is split. So that's why this kid has a, a fan base, Lee. His record clearly shows why he has a fan base with six losses, and that's because he's in every fight. So you wouldn't be going out on a limb here to say that it's possible he beats him. Dude, if he went 12 rounds with Sean... 100, bro. I hey, always go by the betting. I always go by the betting. He, he went 12 rounds with Sean Porter. I, and I know they got the power edge on Garcia heavy, but he went 12 rounds with Sean Porter. And Sean Porter's a, better, uh, a very athletic fighter he, he that for granados to be able to go 12 rounds with him and, and be out of the division that that's why that's why there's people here um giving him credit for this one giving him a little uh how much of a dog was antonio tarver against roy jones oh i don't know but it was a lot it Shit. was a big he was a big Come dog on, in he comes, fight, right yeah he comes from the heavyweights man beating ruiz he's the heavyweight champ of the world when he loses to tarver um so I'm trying to think of the last time somebody plus 700 actually like won a fight, like decisively, not not just a PBC. Yeah, we're gonna get the belt somehow on. See, I don't know the PBC politics on this fight. I don't know if they're back in Danny. It's not or... Granados. It's not okay. Granados, bro. Okay. He's not. He's got six losses. Uh, Danny only has two. Um, no, I, I would think it'd be Garcia. Is, okay, is, so no is, matter what, they're gonna keep. They're gonna make Danny win this fight. They would love. Yes. Yeah. Your split decision was a pretty good call. Yeah. If you look at the kid's career, it looks like they've been jerking him around this whole time. Majority decision, split decision, majority. And decision. by the way, for you, for any of you who think that I don't think that race or location come into play with getting people to watch a fight, Mexico versus Puerto Rico, right there. Chicago versus Philadelphia. They're doing everything they can to get the fans divided and into this fight, Andrew. And that's yeah, and that's dumb because it isn't Mexico versus Puerto Rico. It's really not. Uh, they're they're both Americans. Uh, you could say Mexican American versus Puerto Rico American, or I don't even know if you just say American for Danny. Um, what do you bet if I check the Garcia Granados friends? Do Puerto Ricans say they're Puerto Rican American? How do they? How does that? Was, do you know anything about that? No, I don't. Yeah, I don't either. Because it's supposed I'm to be I'm more interested America, in the right? Fox reporter. I mean, I'm just being. I want to see mm -hmm. what happens when I check the Garcia Granados trend. Who are the only people talking about him? PBC, PBC, PBC. Hey, at least they got some likes though. That's 589 Boxing, likes. Supreme Boxing. Yeah, they're a pretty Look, good website. PBC. They're doing PBC. half a million, Lee. That's half a million. So they're they're pushing something. Hopefully the the fans show up. See, page no, 500. That... That's their website. Yeah. Their oh, website. That's, that's not their that website. Close. Nah, that that's, sucks. On, yeah, I would hope that they have 500,000. Yeah, people no shit. Way. Never mind. This is their There's, page. They're the fucking second string of the Oakland Raiders. Have that the right much. Here's the number. <laughs> A half million, by the way. Ain't shit. Uh, yeah, that's not shit. Let's put that into comparison. I know. I know. Right, gold. No, you boy. shouldn't even do gold. I mean, I would do something. Yeah, no, I can. Hey, 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 asshole! Look how many likes I got. Right, <laughs> go read the, the number. Hell up. Read Shut it. There. Read it, fucker. <laughs> Kick your ass. That's your best one right there. <laughs> Oscar's your best one. One point one million people. Well, what about top rank? You know, top rank is. How many people? 954,000, Andrew. They all do double the action of PBC. Yeah. Wait, let's try somebody shitty that's on the same level. <laughs> oh, 
Let's try main event. Uh, I'm not going to be invited to any main events. Do they have a page? Ooh, these PVC no, that's not them. Is that main event? Yeah, I think so. It says main event. Uh, it didn't look like their certified page. Hold on. This is their page. 40,000. Yeah, they're a shithole. Mm. We have more Kovalev. people follow. We have more Kovalev. people follow. And we have more people following us, Andrew. It's not. <laughs> Kovalev not, good, not doing too good for many. All right, so here anymore. you go. Golden Boy, one point one million. PBC five hundred and ninety eight thousand. That's terrible, dude. That's terrible. They have the heavyweight champion of the How world. Did I too. show up in this feed when I typed in main event boxing. There's a picture of Lee Hanish. That's awesome. There, Lee. They have the heavyweight champion of the world. Think about that. Would my, would Don King only have 589 likes when he had when he had Mike Tyson, Iron Mike, undefeated? I don't think Don King promotions right now. I think they have. Oh, you think, oh, he got him. No, oh, that's GH3. Uh, that's I was GH3. like, fuck. Was MTK like, does. Look, I know this for a fact. He doesn't have a page. It would be great if he had a page. He's gotta have. It a would be key. great if he doesn't have a page. King promotions. Uh, put what? King. MTK? MTK is going to have oh like uh, it's not Don King, isn't it? Just King promotion. King promotion. Ten What's people. MTK at? Where's MTK? Oh, it's MTK Global. I think MTK Global has a page. I'd be interested to see what their social present. They should be there big. It is. There it is. Yeah, it only says twenty eight thousand likes, but how many people Ugh. follow the page? No, only twenty nine thousand. That's too bad. All right, so you think it's King Promotions? Is it why GH3? It going, I know. Why does it keep going to GH3? Clip, clip on it. Maybe it is. No? It's a shitty... M yeah, it ain't shit. I don't know. <laughs> Sad. Don King's done. Whatever. Whatever. There you go. Last but Don not least... King. Don yeah. King just has like an old phone book on. People get a hold of him. He's like, oh, he's got a yeah. Rolodex still. Yeah. He has a Rolodex. Check, yeah, let me check my phone book. I don't fucking know. <laughs> Last but not least, for you diehards, we will talk about the Crawford Conway in. There were no major incidents. This is coming to us from the fattest man in boxing, Dan Raphael, or Raphael, depending on who you want to hear say his name. New York, welterweight world title is Terrence Crawford, challenger, Americon have been all business in their buildup and continued on Friday at the weigh-in in Madison Square Garden. Both appeared to easily make weight for Friday's uh, afternoon inside the Garden's Expo Center uh, and ceremonial public weigh-in. Crawford uh, and Khan both looked strong and fit and came in under the 147 weight limit with three-division title holder Crawford weighing 146.4 and Khan weighing 146.6. Crawford won a boxing's best pound-for-pound fighters, blah, blah, blah. Final quotes came off as this. He's fast. He boxes real well. He's got good legs, said Crawford. I want to put on a great performance, and I'm just ready to go out there and display my talents. I think this is a gr big deal for Crawford. Uh, we said this yesterday, but I think this is a big deal for Crawford. I, I agree with you. I think he needs to go out and, like, steal the show right out of the gate. Just Mike Tyson-esque. I don't get paid to be here by the hour. Just go and get the job done. He looked like it on the, the face off, Lee. It really looked like Terrence, he's going to make a statement here on Saturday. I hope he does. Nothing changed my mind about this fight at the weigh-ins today. And a matter of fact, Khan looked a little nervous. Um, so, nah, I don't I don't see this thing ending uh, good for Amir Khan tomorrow. Let's see what the tickets look like. I think this is going to sell. I think this fight sold. I think he stacked the card enough. Um, I'm going to be very surprised if there are tickets. First of all, there are not going to be any $40 seats for this fight. So two tickets. Yeah, lowest price is 81 bucks. I mean, and they're they're going for the upper decks on this, Andrew. They're not joking around. Let me zoom in. Let me see if it'll let me zoom. It won't. Oh, yeah, it does. Eh. There's still a lot of seats available, but they're asking for bigger prices. Yeah. But, I mean, what's a what's a ringside gonna cost me here? I mean, to be down and watch the fight, six hundred bucks, man. 
and that's a Chase deal. Those are Chase preferred seats. That means I got to use my Chase card. I'm going to do it live on the air and show my credit card number. What do you think, Andrew? Uh, 600 bucks to sit there. And the shittiest seat in the building is 81 bucks, bro. 81 bucks. They're not joking around with the cost of these tickets. 200 for the lower bowl. I mean, they're not, these aren't cheap seats. I think they're making money on this fight if they're already into the upper bowls. And you got to pay 81 to sit up here in a nosebleed? 106 to sit center. That means I got to sit in a corner. Yeah, I got to sit here for 86 bucks. That's some pretty messed up stuff. Is that 86 or is it going to be more? 106. So I got to sit up here, Andrew. I got to sit all the way up here in the corner for 80 bucks. They're not joking around. This thing made money at the gate. For it's, sure. Top rank's not a rookie at this. You know, PBC is. PBC is still trying to find themselves in my eyes. That'll do it. Check everything out online. Go to fightnetradio.com. You could just say it on the air when you have to go, Andrew. You don't have Oh, to. you always do that. Jeez almighty. Uh, of course I do. <laughs> hey, you say you have to be a bitch. Go. <laughs> don't fuck around. Hey, hey, hey. Just call us that, eh? Tell her you want the spoon up your ass right now. Just oh like I do. Oh, my God. Oscar, you're terrible. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why you like the Oscar thing so much. I think it's hilarious. I personally like Bob. Oh, Bob, do you have any final words? About Go buy some tickets. Jesus. I'm, I'm standing out in front with a sandwich sign that says, fight tonight. It's, it's not worth it. Uh, go to fightnetradio.com, please. All you have to do is type in fightnetradio.com. That'll take you to our jump off page. Uh, you can find everything. You can find our videos. Go follow us on Facebook or YouTube where we upload all of our videos. We do cut them up into pieces. There is video for this if you're listening to the audio. I think the video is pretty solid. I think we've put together a pretty interesting video presentation for everybody to watch. Andrew, take us out Larry Merchant style. Oh, come on, Lee. Watch the fight tomorrow night, you guys. We'll see you on Sunday. Are we coming back Sunday morning? Yeah, we're doing something. Or we're right doing after something Sunday morning. Whatever. All right. I'll see you guys Sunday Maybe morning. Maybe right after the fight. You drunk after the fight? I don't know, because if your mm -hmm. wife goes with you and you watch the fight and she gets all crazy and wants to dance and shit, you never know. You get you okay. get wild over in that household. <laughs> and uh, we're getting close to delivery. Who might be... She might be coming home that night. Where what are we? Five months in now? Six yeah, months in? Close. I think. Yeah, close. we're getting close. Do we have a name? Do we have a name already Natalia. set up? Yeah, Natalia. All right. Natalia. Yes. I like that. Yes, all right, sir. there you guys go. Uh, there will be a show this weekend. Everybody have a happy Easter. Enjoy all the fights on Saturday. For all the regulars, check us out on uh, our Facebook account on our uh, – this is real quick. I know you have to go, Andrew. Uh, if you're not an FNR regular and you want to be an FNR regular, go to our FightNet radio page, click the like button, right, and send us a message. We actually uh, have a chat board with all of our boys who are already starting to chat, man. Is there a fight tonight that I'm unaware of? Like, they're all, oh, there's a DAZN fight right now, isn't there? No, they're talking about tomorrow. But we have a, a chat room with our regulars. Andrew and I are on there as well as including Will, Bobby Capucci, the bookmaker. We're all on there. If you want to be an FNR regular, just go to the page, like it, and then send me or Andrew a message, and we will add you, and you can join the fun when we watch a fight. We actually do uh, real-time talking about the fight while we're watching the fight. We like to interact with the fans, and uh, if you irritate us, we'll boot you immediately. I mean, like Kelly King's on the cusp as it is. <laughs> Sorry, that was funny. Shout out to Chuck. Kelly King. That'll do it. We'll see you guys this weekend.